I only paid three dollars. Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Flores Resales. My name is Nick. I'm a full-time reseller. I buy things to sell online on eBay and Mercari and to sell locally on, on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace right here in California. Today I want to do a haul video of something I picked up uh, on the Nextdoor app. If you guys are unfamiliar with Nextdoor, it's an app that uh, you register with your address and you find things, uh, people around you. So, you know, neighborly stuff things going on in your community but there's also a buy and sell section free section so anyways i was on there somebody was asking for help getting rid of some stuff that they, they were gonna uh, have to donate if they couldn't sell it so i clicked on it and we worked out a deal so with the holidays uh, coming up this just stood out to me i'm gonna try to sell a lot of this stuff locally i'll pick out anything that's about 20 to 30 dollars and up uh, and sell that online so i can make the majority of my money but most of this i'm gonna just post locally so you know anywhere um five, 10, $15 just cash would be quicker than deal, having to deal with packaging and shipping this stuff out. So we'll go ahead and go piece by piece, like I said, um, but we'll, and we'll put out to the side everything that I, I think that I'll be able to list online, whether it's on eBay or, uh, or Mercari. He roughly had about 40 pieces, a little bit more maybe, and he wanted um, just for to make a price on it, to make an offer on it. Uh, I offered 100, he said it was too low. Uh, I went up to 120. He didn't like that either. So we settled on 150 dollars, which is which broke down to about three dollars a piece. Uh, so all in all, I mean, there's a lot of small pieces and uh, some big stuff as well. So there's a good mixture of small items and bigger items. I don't really know what I'm gonna make off of it. I'm going through this for the first time as well. Um, but I think there's a lot of there's there's some stuff that just uh, stands out. Some that I think will be worth the money. So I, I don't think I'll have a problem making my money back, and I'll be able to make hopefully a, a couple hundred at least uh, on profit. So this is the deal that I bought on Nextdoor. It's a lot of toys. Let's see, figure some plushes. We'll go ahead and go through everything right now. Just a quick peek. Okay, so all in all, there's 45 pieces and I paid $3 each. And then $5 for a miscellaneous little bag he threw in there as well. So I'm into this for $150 for this deal. All right, so the first item is this Ultimate Scrapbook Designs. Doesn't look to be name brand anything. Looks like a lot of stickers, little pen, little things, something like that. Let me see the back there. Don't see any price tags, anything that would give me an indication. But just based on the weight and quality of it, I think I could get maybe $10 locally for this one. Next is this Sea Life Discovery by Animal Planet. It's pretty cool. Looks like a little squid here, a little scuba guy, some equipment for the scuba guy. I don't know if I mentioned, but all these toys are all brand new sealed. Um, they have not been opened and not have been used. So that's what made this deal uh, tantalizing for me. Anyways, that's the giant squid. Around. Don't see anything about price tags. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Little neat gift. It says Toys R Us on there so maybe that could add some value anyways if i had to sell this locally i could get it probably anywhere from eight to twelve dollars um offer up or, or at a yard sale even all right next is this uh spider-man hero mask 10 hero phases let's see it says two batteries so i'm assuming it talks try me lights and sounds that's true, that's true. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. See there. I think this is the newer the, the newer version of it. Eyes light up, 10 hero phrases. Again, I don't see any prices. There's a moose down there. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, I think I can get maybe about 15 bucks for this one. Next is Storybook Pillow Frozen. So it looks like there's a story in there. It does have a price tag of $14.99. I know Frozen is a couple years old now, but I mean, there's still a lot of people that like it. There you go. Soft stories, sweet dreams. Pretty light. I could even ship this if I needed to. I don't think it goes over a pound. Anyways, this one here, I could probably get... Eh, it's listed at $15. Someone might give me $8 for it, $10 for it. I'll take the price tag off, though. <laughs> right, this is a good one. Hot Wheels Mega Blocks. Say 30 stunts acrobatics by Mega Blocks, 382 pieces. This is the part number, piece number for it. Little cool racetrack looks like. 
All right, so that should be worth about $25. So this is one of the better items that came here. Like I said, brand new, sealed, nothing open on this one. This would be pretty cool, pretty giftable. Okay, then there's this Care Bear Sing Along Cheer Bear. Try me, press my paw. Let's go press the paw. It's like hiccuping or something. It probably needs new batteries, so I should be able to switch those out. But I mean, it's pretty cute. Same with this one, it has some weight to it, so it's decent quality. There's the back. Collect all four, available on Netflix. So, something with an app looks pretty cool. So, maybe this is like a $20 item, $15 item at least. But it's this side. This is a cool one 85 plus dolls to collect. Lala Loopsy. Look for the DVD. It's a pretty tall figure here. You can see her there. Let's look at the back. Collect all of them. Always. There's always a collection. There's always more, huh? Tear out collectible poster. At least they give you something extra. Anyways, this is a really cool doll. I think it has a, a pretty decent following. Lala Loopsy. So maybe $20, $25 I can get for this one. And then we have these blobbies. I mean, I don't know. It's because I don't have kids or what the reason is, but I have never heard of any of these toy lines. But we have Blobbies. Looks Blobby more for Plesiosaurio. Plesiosaurus. Oh, pretty cool. Looks like a Pokemon Lapras. Looks like there's two of these. the same one. So this is the same thing. I don't know what they are, but I mean, if they're collectibles in, in any way, maybe $25 to $30 each. Looks like there's some stickers that come in here. It says 2N1. 2N1. So it looks like it transforms, maybe inside out, something like that. Um, same with this one, there's other ones you could collect. Blobby Morphers. Anyways, there's two of those. All right, now we're on the side of the table. Here's another cool one. Another one by Mega Blocks. World Warcraft, World Warcraft. There we go, it's 299 pieces, A plus 91026. This one does have a price tag, it says Siege Engine Attack, 2998 on brown clearance not sure where the tag is from if i had to guess maybe like barnes and nobles just based on the color let's turn it around just a little more art for it warcraft it says that price but i mean if if it's older discontinued some people uh, world warcraft does have a good following um it might be worth a little more but at least 30 bucks at the end should be able to get for it i feel confident in that one all right like i said there is 45 of these so i'm gonna go through the rest of them a little bit faster starting on top here with this build bear workshop make and play uh teddy bear looks like it's complete brand new little shirt little shorts or pants the bear you probably get some stuffing for it ah looks like this that's what you'd get inside i don't know what these go for maybe 15 dollars brand new I know used ones, they don't sell for much, but eh, brand new. This one here, Disney, oh boy, Mickey Mouse. Something, something starter set. Looks like there's a plate, a little bowl, and then a cup. From Homeworld, uh, not familiar with the store. Uh, it says now P140. So I don't know if that's international or what the reason is, but I've never seen. I don't, I'm not familiar with Homeworld or... Or a P140, I don't know what currency that is. What's that one? And this is pretty cool. Crayola Carver. Uh, let's see. Trace tiles as machine carbs. So, I don't know. It looks like you make your own molds and you make uh, colors a certain way. Melt factory. See there. This is what it looks like without the additional art. Motorized stylus, tracing tiles. Cool, so uh, you, I think you can cut out uh, certain, oh, you put them here, and then it carves whatever letters you put, so you can make your custom crayons or custom clay with this, which is pretty cool. All right, then there's the Discovery three-way walkie-talkie. Looks like it's two walkie-talkie, the ham radio. It looks like it's actually functioning. It's not just for show. It's not like a play kitchen or anything like that. Uh, but, I mean, this brand is not expensive. I've sold stuff from this before, so maybe 15 bucks for this, 15 $20. I don't think that's far-fetched. Move to the side. Well, this one. Ah, looks like this one is a play kitchen. <laughs> that one is just like home. 15 pieces. Just like home. Little 
you know, turkey coming up. Maybe that will help it sell. Pizza, kitchen radio. Let me see right there. This is pretty cool. Should be able to get 20 bucks for that, no problem. All right, I got a couple dolls. This one is Disney Cinderella Royal Ball. You guys like the glass slippers, the doll. Really pretty case uh, for it, actually. I don't know what these go for. I don't know if they're mass produced, but I mean, it's overall pretty good condition by Mattel. Good brand for, for dolls and figures. Uh, maybe $15 for this one. Ooh, this one has some weight to it. So it says only a Toys R Us collectible. $29.99, $46.99 value. So, so dive into the reading books here. Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Sound story book. First look. Find book. Little play sound book. So a little book set for kids. It does have some weight to it. So I mean some electronic parts to it I'm assuming. This is scratched off here. Really cool thing though. So a bunch of the items that I think might sell for about $5. Uh, sheep figure with six outfits. Little thing. This is pretty old. I think they just got kind of mixed in with the toys and got thrown in there. But it is brand new. A uh, bunch of little outfits for it. So maybe five bucks. It has a 250 price tag. So maybe not even that. But anyways, there. This Pukaloo's spinning action. Looks like a mini the mouse. Spinner series one. Uh, anyways, small little thing. Maybe four to five dollars. Alright, there's this Shake It Holiday Snow Globe. Looks kind of cheaper. Something maybe you find like at CVS or something like that. Oh, Walmart. Yeah, five bucks. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think it, it was too expensive. So maybe I get three dollars, four dollars for that. There's this collectible lunchbox, Disney Pixar's Cars 2. Uh, feels kind of light, kind of cheap, but I mean, it's pretty cool. The hollow on it looks really cool. So maybe four or five dollars for it. Someone might pay me for this. Yeah, I'm trying to look for a price. I don't see it though. This side. All right, this one says $9.98 on brown clearance. Uh, this is Harumika. Style your imagination. Looks like a little mini doll, like the ones you can, you know, brush their hair and put accessories, stuff like that. So I should be able to get at least five bucks, five, seven dollars for this. Now the box is, box is a little beat up. So maybe five, four dollars. But Bandai though, it's a good brand. So maybe online it's worth a little more. It's really light, so it might be worth shipping. This cool Mr. Potato Head. So it makes a match fun by Play School. It's uh, it's about six inches, seven inches, maybe a little bigger. Has all the stuff right there. Hasbro Play School. So this is a cool one. I think I, I think I can get ten bucks for this one. Maybe eight eight to ten dollars. And there is Hero 108. I don't know what that is. Coloon versus Snake King. Looks like they're on little skateboards. Six game cards included. So some sort of game first series by Playmates. Here's the back. Something from Cartoon Network, looks like. But I should be able to get at least five bucks for that. Big boots. <laughs> These little characters with big boots. Looks like it's a police and a fireman. Spinning little accessories, accessories. Wow, same thing with Mattel. Mattel's a good brand. So, yeah, five bucks, I think, is not, not too much to ask. All right, then there's this little Dora box. It says, color your own mailbox. Oh, so it's like a Valentine's type of thing. Maybe someone can use it for a piggy bank or something like that. Brand new, good condition. So that uh, should uh, should be yeah, four or five dollars. This little little chef playset. I might combine this with that uh, with the kitchen that came because it has additional uh, pots and items for it. But if I sold this by itself, I think I could get ten dollars right closer to Christmas time. So this one is the little chef playset. Twenty six pieces, little carrots. Well, big old carrots, tomatoes, cabbage, and the sword. And there's Princess, my Princess Academy. Looks like uh, just some accessories, tiara, some necklaces, headband with the case. Uh, there's the back. So five or five to seven dollars for this one. I think would be fine. This one's pretty cute. Two hand puppets by Fantasy Friends. Looks like this is a unicorn or a donkey with a horn. There's a dragon. This is really cute. There's by Kelly Toy, 2016. This is cool. I think I could get $10 easily for this one. It's just really cool puppets. We have this Moana set. This one, again, should be another $10 item, $8 to $10 item. So Maui, the Demigods, Kakamura Adventure. 
zipline and catapult, a little coconut, Maui, mother coconut. It's really cool. Hey, that's just a ten dollar item easily. Looks like that's how it could be all set up. Okay, then we have this huggable, lovable flashlight. This is a cool one. Feature fun for boys and girls. Little pink, uh, I don't know what it is, donkey? No, it has a horn, maybe unicorn. I don't know how you turn it on, otherwise I'd test it. But a uh, little baggy here. Oop. Batteries might be gone on it. I'll check it out. This looks like some really corroded batteries. Anyways, there's that. If it's all working good, that's a $10, $10 toy at least. As seen on TV. So, eh, yeah, I think 10 is fine. Okay, and there's this Fisher Price musical Xylofish. And there's a little star. Flips it around. That's kind of what it looks like. Fisher Price. That's cool. Yeah, seven bucks, ten dollars, seven to ten dollars. Angry Birds. Uh, King Pig. I'm not sure how you use it, but something connecting with your iPad. You can use a little King P King Pig as a additional. I guess additional features maybe. Four to five dollars on that one. The you know, VTEC camera. That's a ten dollar item. Maybe aside from this, looks like it's missing a piece of the packaging. Maybe a little less. But durable design. Yeah, it looks cool. So that's a ten dollar item. Another cool one it says Mini Rex the dog. Wowie Robotics. I think I've heard of those guys, so maybe ten to fifteen dollars for this one. Looks really cool on it. It's item number one one four five. Looks like there's they make robots and dinosaurs, Robo Robers. It says cool rolling motion, posable head and legs. Yeah, so this is a ten fifteen dollar item. Pretty cool. Little Hello Kitty gift set. Doesn't look too. Fancy. I yeah, kind of like the design. Hello Kitty with a little Wi-Fi signal and the heart. A little thermos, a little lunchbox. It says the S&M store. I'm not sure what that stands for. Sario. It says P34975. Again, I don't know what the currency is. I'll look it up. But I mean, if I had to imagine maybe $10 to $15 for this one. Depending. Yeah, cause just because there's a collector's base for it. Then there's this Fisher Price Little People. Open close. It has the little toys in there. This one's really cool. This one has some gunk here. It looks like there was a sticker they might have peeled off. But I'll give it a quick cleaning. It'll look like new. There you go. Little baby in the back. That's how it looks right there. Now we'll go to the back for the last of them. There's a Disney Princess's Pop Head Jewelry Activity. Great jewelry with 100 beads. No strings. Easily pop beads together. So a little gift set. Something. Same you might find at Walgreens or CBS. Uh, eight dollars i think is fine this is a really cool one looks like it sings or something there you go <laughs> that's a kid connection peekaboo blanket bear by walmart but i think maybe 15 bucks for this one it's very cute we'll put it to the side okay then there's another froze a couple a couple my bad. A couple frozen items. Starting here with frozen ice skating Elsa. Right there, she has her ice skates. Having a lot of fun. Roll forward to skate. Maybe ten dollars for that one. A little more. A little classic hideaway frozen hide and seek. Like little tent tunnel type of thing. Same thing for this one. About ten dollars. Five wood puzzles with mini. A uh, couple big ones, well, a few small ones actually, by Cardinal. I think I could get about $10 for that one, 8 to $10 for that one. There's a bigger one. This one says, five-piece explore camp set. Dome tent, storage bag, compass, sleeping bag, flashlight. So it looks something like that. Uh, feels good, it doesn't feel like cheap, so I think maybe maybe 20 bucks, 25 for this one, someone would pay for it. All right, one of the last ones we have, PJ Masks, color play and create sets. Little stamp set, looks like nothing special, but it has a lot of cool things, so just a lot to it. Chalk, markers, little board. Um, so that that's a 10 to $15 item. Sean the Sheep, looks like felt-tastic portable carry case. 
Not sure what you do on this if you just attach it to the board that comes. Uh, oh, it's back. Yeah, so you just attach it to the board, move them around like you're playing uh, playing with them, like they're moving around with the carrying case. So maybe eight dollars to ten dollars for that one. There's these two Build a Bear boxes. Maybe one for the one that we found earlier, the Build a Bear. Aside from that, I think it was just a throw in. And then lastly, is this World of Art activity sticker stencil color paint draw over 100 fun items. This is just like the perfect item you could just give out a last minute little gift that you need to get for someone. And that's at least a $10 item. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, liked the haul that I picked up. Let me know what you think of the deal I made. I paid $150 for all this stuff, uh, plus a um, bunch of used little items that he threw in there as well. So I'm about a little over $3 per piece into uh, this lot. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable, pretty confident in uh, being able to make at least $200 on it, which I know is not crazy money, but I think should be pretty quick sellers considering the, the holiday season we're going into. So I'll be listing some of this the new stuff, uh, the big, the more expensive items pretty, pretty soon. And then the rest of it, I'll just save for that yard sale in person because I just think it'll sell better and I don't want to take the time listing uh, $8, $10 items, even $5 items on offer up. So I think it, it, it would just sell at the yard sale that we're going to have. Um, but for now, I'll start listing the uh, more expensive items and just making my uh, way down down the list until we get to the cheaper items. I might end up listing everything before holiday. Who knows? But uh, thanks again. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like want to see more content like this. I do appreciate you guys watching. Have a nice day.